Hey everyone, today I want to tackle a theory that's been floating around in our real estate circles amongst the, let's say, more conspiracy minded people out there. A colleague of mine recently mentioned a conversation she had with someone who believes that all appraisers always undervalue homes because they're in cahoots with banks, like by hundreds of thousands of dollars. Intriguing, right? Sounds like the plot of a financial thriller, doesn't it? But let's dig a little deeper. The theory goes something like this. By keeping valuations down, appraisers can give reports to banks to help protect the bank's interests and thus are incentivized to give paltry reports. But does that make sense? Now, admission time, I used to work in banking before diving into real estate, like a long time ago. And let me tell you, I've heard a lot of theories. Some may be truer than others. And I have to judge this one as mostly fiction. No, appraisers aren't incentivized to come in low or high. They're actually incentivized to come in as accurately as possible. But think about it. If appraisers consistently overvalue properties or assets of any kind, whatever it is that they're being asked to give a valuation of, they end up making their clients look foolish, which is bad for the appraiser's business. And conversely, if they continually undervalue homes or assets, their clients will starve, maybe to death from lack of business. Again, bad for the appraiser's business. Now here's a little insider knowledge from my banking days that is more like common knowledge, but insider knowledge sounds more interesting. Lenders already build safety margins into their lending calculations. They don't need appraisers to pad those numbers further. Banks want to know the true market value of a property. No tricks, no gimmicks. Now I know what you're thinking. Banks aren't exactly known for the benevolence, true, they're rip no, no, they're just highly profitable in many ways. But let's not forget that the people working there are human. They're competitive. They're eager to make big loans if that's their job. And those people have ambitious bosses who are expected to make a certain book of loans in a given quarter or year. And if that big boss isn't seeing that, that person's boss puts the heat on them, then they get the fire burning even hotter under the rear ends of those loan officers and mortgage officers, etc., and on and on and on. But believe me, if banks were consistently getting lowball appraisals that cost them business, they wouldn't keep using those appraisers. And appraisers know this as clear as day. Thus, appraisers are not in cahoots with banks to significantly undervalue homes. There is no conspiracy and no exciting financial thriller at play. So next time you hear someone suggesting that appraisers are in league with banks to keep valuations low, you can confidently set the record straight. Remember the real aim of an appraisal is accuracy, not manipulation. Now, if you found this breakdown helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your network, any of those things, those generous things that you can do to help spread the word. And as always, if you have any more questions about real estate or just want to chat about market trends or anything else, feel free to reach out. Let's keep debunking bad myths and spreading knowledge. Thanks for tuning in.